All right, hello guys. We're going to go over the river crossing problem, uh, level one. Um, so reading the problem, it says, based on the speed of the river, the speed of your boat relative to the water and the distance across the river, here's the important part, determine the downstream distance of your boat when it reaches the opposite shore of the river. Okay, so we can do that. Um, we just need to draw ourselves a um, picture or diagram. Um, so let's do that. We'll draw what we know. What we know is that the velocity of the boat is equal to 8.5 meters per second. We know that the velocity of the river is, and I should have left myself some space, 2.9 meters per second. And so hopefully it's clear to you that, you know, when you take a look at this, the boat's gonna go, you know, it's pointed directly vertical, right? But the river is going to be pushing it as it goes. What that's gonna happen is it's going to alter the boat's path and you're going to get a resultant vector. That resultant vector is going to be at some angle theta to the vertical. And the way that we've set this up, it is a right triangle, which means that we can do some trig functions. Let's figure out the angle, because that's going to be the fastest way for us to get what we want. So let's do that. Um, we have an adjacent side and we have an opposite side. So I'm thinking tangent. So tangent theta is going to equal to okay, our opposite side. So 2.9 meters per second divided by 8.5 meters per second. Theta is unitless, so good thing those units cancel out. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to, to get theta, we're going to need to take the uh, inverse tangent of 2.9 divided by 8.5. Okay. So good thing I have my handy app, Wolfram Alpha, so let's switch to that. So we're going to say, um, arc tan. Okay, and that's just a fancy word for, oops. All right, and our numbers were, sorry I'm forgetting. That's what happens when you get old. 2.9 divided by 8.5. Sorry, just figuring out the buttons. Okay, getting an angle is 18.84 degrees. Okay, so theta equals 18.84 degrees. That's powerful because, and why that's powerful is I want to bring your attention to the fact that they gave us this 39, oops, I kind of blurted it out, but 39.5 meters. That is our vertical displacement. So I'm going to go ahead and switch, and you'll see that right here, all right, delta y is equal to 39.5 meters. Well, now we have an angle, right? So, and let me just kind of mark this up a little bit. Um, I'll make it even lighter. Okay, so if we have this angle theta right here, right, and we have this vector right here, guess what we can solve for? You guessed it. We can, oops. We can solve for delta x right there. So that's what we're going to do. Let's switch to a new pencil. Um, we'll just use blue. And let's do this. 
Um, so we have an angle now. Um, we have, we're solving for the opposite side, okay? And then we have the adjacent side. So it looks like we're going to use tangent again. So we're going to say, okay, tangent of 18.84 degrees, okay, is equal to uh, the opposite side, which is delta x divided by the adjacent side, which is 39.5 meters. Okay. Um, oops. Multiply that to the other side. Right. Cancel. Put that over here. Okay. I am keeping the units in there so that m is just meters. Oops. And let's go ahead and throw that into our calculator. So tan, what was it, 18.84? Did I get that right? Yep. Look at me. Oops. Okay. 18.84 multiplied because 39.5. Okay. And I get an answer of not what I wanted. Oh, <coughs> figured it out. Sorry. It assumed radians. 13.47. All right. So delta x, I made the tragic mistake of having it in... Um, radians instead of degrees. Um, it was 13, God, I already forgot, 13.47. And good thing I kept my units in there because it's going to be 13.47 uh, meters. And that's what they want. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Uh, I think I have this still open. Yep, there we go. Uh, and let's end it. We're going to just say test. And we're going to say 13.47. Uh, just watching when I get it wrong. Woohoo! I did it. And that's all you have to do to solve the problem.